standing outside of the Vittorio Venetio Synagogue. It was moved from Venice, Venice, Italy, to the museum. According to strict from the Torah, art for the synagogue was completed in December of 1700. Two hundred years it served as a small Ashkenazic community that settled in the area in the Middle Ages. Towards the end of the 19th century, Jews moved to larger centers. By the end of World War I, the synagogue was no longer in use. Incredibly ornate and beautiful. So it has a Baroque style. The exterior of the synagogue was very modest, apparently, but they moved it. It was donated to the museum here, and, and it's Israel, and moved here. It's extremely uh, ornate, and it was faithfully preserved as much as possible. The, the uh, ark was moved to a different location because of the room. That's the women's gallery, or the gallery upstairs. There's where the ark was in the Bema seat and the seat of Moshe. Isn't that just absolutely stunningly beautiful? It's just amazing to me. It's, um, it's a little uh, startling. My great grandparents immigrated um, in the early 1900s from Palermo, Sicily to uh, Ellis Island in New York and um, eventually to Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, I have strong suspicions that my great-grandmother and my great-grandfather were conversos, forced to convert to Catholicism or face persecution for being Jews. My great-grandmother insisted that I be circumcised on the eighth day. So this kind of moves me uh, to think that they would have, my great-great-great-grandparents could have Worshipped in a synagogue very similar to this in Palermo. That is unbelievably ornate and beautiful. Light fixtures. Elijah's chair from the circumcision ceremony. So at every circumcision and Pesach and I think one other festival that Elijah Eliyahu, Eliyahu was invited to be a part of it.